This week, Michigan Solicitor General Fad Wahoud made history as the first to Arab American Muslim woman to argue before the Supreme Court. I sat down with her today to talk about that moment and her journey to get there. Well, first of all, congratulations. What an achievement. Can you take us back to the moment that you found out that you would be going in front of the Supreme Court? It was in, in public service, I think, like, like anything in life. Individual achievement is an illusion. It really was a collective achievement. Um, and it was the department's achievement. I got to articulate in front of the Supreme Court really the fruits of the hard work of our department and the public servants that have been working on this case. Uh, it was surreal. I wasn't just excited for myself. I was excited that Michigan was going to have a seat at the table to talk about issues that are not just important to Michiganders, but obviously, you know, if a case goes up in front of the Supreme Court about issues that are important to the nation. So I know the Attorney General and I was, were ecstatic, but I, I was so humbled to be able to articulate that on behalf of the entire team. So it was definitely a collective achievement. Did you take a moment to stop and think about how far you've come or, or just um, what a role model you've become? You, you immigrated here with your family when you were 11 years old. Yeah, and I have, this experience has been humbling in many ways. My only hope was to go to Washington, D.C., to our highest court, and to honor my oath right, to represent the people of the state of Michigan uh, to the best of my ability. And I know, like you stated, uh, you know, this was, this was a first for an Arab American uh, Muslim woman to be there. But I knew that, uh, you know, my, my goal was to go there and make our state proud. And I did not go there to fulfill, um, you know, a, a diversity quota or a space value. Every level of our government uh, should reflect the diverse communities that add so much to this nation. And that includes the highest court of our land. So uh, I, I, I was excited about that. My goal, hopefully, is that people can look at me and don't just think that I'm the exception and that she's the first. It's they look at me and know that that's the norm and that I should not be the last. Do your parents just being with pride i would imagine you know my parents were obviously very emotional yeah and they they surprised me my two kids uh, children surprised me uh they met me in dc oh. and um it was surreal for my parents uh, you know i get emotional thinking about it but they asked my father are you surprised and and he said no and i think that as a daughter i had a father who always uh made me believe that uh, the highest levels of achievement were within reach and that was so important well congratulations again to you and to the entire team thank you michelle